What's going on you guys? FaZe Rainbow here. Welcome to today's video. Today is going to be an update on the 2005 Honda Foreman 500. Uh, going to be doing a bit of an update on her today. Maybe starting it up. I'm not too sure yet. We, I had just got a battery for this bike. Fresh battery. This bike is now soon going to be my bike. I am going to be selling off the Kodiak 450. Not too sure when, but uh, yeah. So I'm. This bike's going to be soon be mine. I'm starting to put a little bit of work into her. Needs quite a bit of work. Uh, still needs an ankle sensor. I just bought the battery a couple days ago. It's just sitting over the bench there. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun trying to get her in. Now the thing about these Hondas here, they have some pretty uh, interesting spots to put your battery in. Some of them can be difficult, such as this bike here. So you gotta lift this little fuse box here to be able to get your battery in here and then at the same time hold your battery terminals, which is, made it very difficult to take the old battery out, but we managed just fine. So, yeah, so I'm very excited. I can't wait to start driving uh, standard again. I will miss the Kodiak, but I do also at the same time miss standard shifting. Um, but this is not your ordinary foot standard shift. It's the electric shift only. No, it's not a, It's not the other Honda 4-track where it's automatic and electric shift. This bike's only electric shift. And I'm, I've driven this bike many, many, many times before when I, me and my brother were gro growing up. But I'm happy to say that this bike's going to be mine soon. And I, and I cannot wait to start driving this again. It's been, I don't know how many years. I think it's been like going on almost 7, 8 years, give or take, since I've last driven this bike. Actually, that's kind of a lie. I uh, give or take about going on, it'd be about going on 4 years since I've last driven this bike. But this bike still needs quite a bit of work. Uh, it did. It was leaking oil. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's still leaking oil or not. Uh, it has good tires on it, but there's two two different size tires, and they're all backwards, and that's that's no good. So I'm pretty sure we're keeping the front ones. Uh, we're switching the back ones out definitely because they it'll wreck the gear ratio and all that stuff. So. I, at some point, I'm going to probably buy two new tires for the back. Um, what else? Uh, just, yeah, so I don't know if it needs carburetor work or not. I don't think it needs it. It ran pretty good last time I uh, we started this up. Uh, I know it does backfire once in a while, but that could be because of the exhaust pipe. I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm, I, there is some gas I might throw in a little bit into her so she has enough to run. Because she pretty much nothing in it. So I know we have a little bit of gas. We'll throw some in. Give her a bit of a drink. Uh, that tire is a bit low, but nah, that's nothing. Obviously, angle sensor might need it. But I might give the shifter a try with the new battery. I uh, might, might change. I'm not too sure. Um, but... I highly doubt it's going to work with the new battery in it. I know it needs a new angle sensor. Uh, like I said, carburetor work, I'm not too sure about. Tank might be a bit dirty. I don't know. It should be okay. Other than that, in the near future, I like the LED lights for the front. And I'm not worried about the back, obviously. Uh I like to un... I know somewhere in the exhaust system it's kind of bent a bit, but uh, I might just leave it for now, or maybe someday I'd like to unbend it. Dylan, guess what's coming? Here, watch. Guess what's coming? What's that? Yeah. Yeah, that. Christmas is around the corner. Yeah, and I can't wait to drive my Polaris, too. That's another thing. I, I only driven it once or twice when I first got it, because I got it at the end of the season. And, yeah, I, I need to maintenance that, too. I need to get a wheel kit. 
Because the, pl the Polaris I got has a little big giant knives under the skis. And that's just going to wreck the crap out of the driveway. And severely wreck the lawn. So before I can really drive it anywhere, I need to put a wheel kit on it. And I'm going to need to get, get an oil change on that. So other than that, I should be ready to go. Brand new battery in it and everything. It's all pretty much ready to go. But uh, so there's a couple of things I like to add on to it before I even move the damn thing. So <laughs> that's uh, that's another uh, thing I want to do this year. Uh, yeah, so pretty much, I mean, I might need I might need some wheel bearings. It might need some shocks. I don't know. But I'm just putting the battery in it, throw a little bit of gas in it, and basically take it to a buddy, to a buddy of my brother's girlfriends. Uh, I, her uncle or grandpa i think i'm not too sure who's going to be working on this machine um but i'm gonna get him to look at it look it over see what it needs and then we'll buy some parts for it get him to work on it and see how she drives and if you hear a backfire every now and then in in a video when i start doing videos on this bike um that's obviously, like I said, the exhaust pipe because there is a bit of a bend in the exhaust and that kind of creates back pressure when you go at a high speed, but that's really nothing. I only, I never, never did any videos on this bike ever before because obviously I never, back when I used to drive this bike all the time, I haven't, I didn't have a YouTube channel back then. I only had one quick clip of doing donuts, but that was a long time ago that you guys will see that in my, uh, youtube shorts 2005 honda foreman donuts or whatever the heck i called it i don't remember but you guys will see it in my youtube shorts and as part of it, it's in the intro as you can as you'll see but in that quick clip or the slash intro uh it had a back box on and it had gun rack things on it that's all taken off now that's all been sold but uh yeah that's the only clip i ever had on this bike i did have a couple other clips on my other I got like on my computer, but I got rid of that a long time ago, and I should have kept those clips. But oh well, there's lots, uh, lots, lots to do on this bike. That's for sure. I'm gonna put a new battery in it and see how she goes. I guess see if she fires up. I will point this out. This bike's not mine yet, but it will be. So right now, this just is basically an update of what's going on with it, and I'm just. Kind of, gotta let you know what's gonna happen with this bike. And then obviously now you guys know. So now it's time for a fresh battery after sitting I don't know how long in the barn, about a year or some year or two in a barn. And the battery, I don't know. The old battery is pretty old, so it's well overdue for a good one. And that's what I got right over there. Here's another thing that's gonna need decals. Pretty worn out. I'm surprised that's still on there. I'll order new ones eventually. Even on the side too, it's already starting to peel. That's nothing. It's, it's old. And I'm surprised the dash is in pretty good shape. A lot of these older bikes, they're usually really, really badly scratched up. Like my grandpa's old bike. His uh, dash was really scratched up. I'm surprised this one ain't. It's in really good shape. Faded, but in good shape. I'm surprised. Buttons still work. Everything works on here. This has fairly deep storage compartment here. Very, very deep. But I'm going to see if I'm able to put my black box that's on the kodiak on this bike I, i'm not too sure if it's gonna fit lots of ideas to do with this bike lots of ideas but one thing at a time obviously okay so the battery's in we're just putting in the final screws and we'll see if she has power Okay, turn your gas on for a minute. Okay, moment of truth. Yeah, but you gotta turn your gas on. Yeah. She has power. Let's see if she'll turn over. I think that's on. Yeah, it's on. 
Gas on. Turn it over. Mm -hmm. is, it on, is it on reserve? No, there's no gas in it. Is it on reserve? Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's give it a sec. Oh, this dash is lit up nice. Give it a whirl. He has life. Quiet. <laughs> yeah, it is. No fuel in it. There's something in there going to work it in. No. Wait, hang on. Huh, the lights don't even work back there. Inter Interesting. The front ones work though. Oh yeah. Uh oh, we'll get to have to change the ball in the back. Is on the Yeah, it's low on fuel. So let's see if it's going to continue. Give it a try. Nope. Oh, it wants to go over here. Yeah, it will, but it won't go down a gear. It won't be able to go down a gear. No, it still needs an angle sensor. I thought maybe it would work with the new battery. Oh well, at least we know it runs good. Good thing Honda, Honda Foreman's had that. Because then Honda Foreman's had that special shifter thing for such emergencies like this. Oh yeah, I don't got it, eh? Yeah, I got some. Now we'll go in reverse. We'll go in reverse. Yeah, sensor. Now the sensor's all going all wacky there. You can't even go into forward gear now. And we were able to do it a second ago.
I used to know you know a battery works good. But it's not backfiring right now, but you need to drive it at a high, high speed and let go of the gas for it to backfire. The four wheel drive work, eh? How do you set that clock? I don't know, you gotta tinker with it. That four wheel drive works. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta play with these buttons for it to work. See, I'm switching it right now. Yeah, but how do you hit, oh, you hit the... Yeah. Like, you you gotta play, you gotta play with it, though. Oh, now it's not dinkering around at uh, neutral flight. Oh, what? Acts up. I don't know why. Still does it. See, once it's, it's so weird. It's the front wheel drive, but it has to back up. Alright. No, is there anything in the What? Is there anything in the front? Just the seat. You can go a little bit. That's what I'm asking. Oh, another thing I should mention to you guys, the brakes are seized. Like, the, that that seized so bad that it can't even move the pedal. I don't even know if those work. I'm pretty sure they do. That one definitely does not work. It needs, so it needs a whole, like, a whole new brake system to redone on it. So, that's another thing I forgot to mention. So now it's acting up again. Now you can't even get into a gear. See, it's weird. It needs a new angle sensor. But there you go. That's pretty much about it for the update. That really whole else going on with it right now. I mean, I need to get an angle sensor for it and then get her tuned up good at a garage somewhere. And then pretty soon it'll be time to get the players going up, up and running. <laughs>